Please welcome Josh Tatum to the Ashley Furniture Home Store Hangout Lounge. Congratulations awesome. on the new album, by the way. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. This is uh, very cool to be down here. Your facility's amazing. And Thank you. It's been a very warm welcome to Midland. I really appreciate you know the support and being involved in the events you guys have done and stuff like that. It's been a really good experience. And last month, if you were at our event, Midland on Tap, you got to see Josh perform and a lot of people were blown away. And I really? gotta tell you, I wasn't here. I was in Memphis for our St. Jude conference. But that's what I kept hearing. It's like, the guy we had out there was just amazing. Man, that's awesome. And then we found out it was you, and it was saying, oh, really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No. Really, I mean, seriously, if you've not seen his videos online, I think, uh, which one has it uh, left behind? Has over 168,000 views. It is fantastic. Josh's music is, is fantastic. So you got to check that out. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. We, I was kind of telling you a minute ago about that process of making that video was, just a bunch of buddies of mine um, in LA that that uh, you know I kind of grew up in in that town with that would just film everything and and uh, a lot of them are just ragtagging it around LA making movies and doing really really cool stuff and and uh, it's it's I was pretty grateful that they were able to put that together in a day you know and in and the video doesn't look like it's put together in a day and if you know anything about video and things you actually had access to a red camera to do that video they did they brought out a red and I you know. I don't know where it came from or how they got it, but I'm pretty sure it was legal and it was all, <laughs> you know, it was all taken care of the proper way. So, oh. yeah, so we, we were running around. We actually rented a minivan. Uh, I, I just thought about this. Yeah, we were driving around in this minivan in that we had a packed full of people. And uh, at one point they were trying to shoot a scene and they were like, yeah, we want you driving. And I was like, I'm driving a minivan, you know? <laughs> and so we're trying to like, we have the, the song cranked up and we're driving down the, the highway and he's got the, the camera right in my face. They're trying to get this cool shot. And eventually he was like, yeah, man, we can tell it's minivan. Like we got to stop. sorry, it's just not, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told him, I was like, this isn't gonna work out. Cause I mean, it had the giant, you know, side view mirror, you know, it was like just huge, you know, spaceship of a minivan. And they were trying to get like a real cool shot. This and is not like, coming off as a Pull over, we need to get out of this car, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was pretty funny whipping a minivan around LA for a few days, but. I You've got I'm, the vibe, the LA vibe, but you actually uh, were born here and you live here, right? I was born here, I live here now. My wife and I moved here about a year ago. Uh, actually, yeah, exactly a year ago we moved down here, but we, um, we met in, met in Vegas, lived in LA, moved to Austin where I made that album and uh, we finished it in, in California. And then from Austin, we moved to Nashville, we lived in Nashville for about a year and checked out that scene for a while and really dug Nashville. It's, it's just such an incredible place. And um, but yeah, had some opportunities pop up down here during the, the oil boom and uh, which is now over if you guys haven't checked, but um, it's, uh, so we came down and, and we're just, checking it out and it's been great. We're really happy to be down here. Everybody's yeah. been incredibly supportive and welcoming and got some cool shows that we've been a part of and, and uh, we're really happy about it. Fantastic. So. Well, you know, I, I wanna talk a little bit about your music now since it's kind of the reason you're here. Um, listening to your music, I'm hearing a lot of different influences. I can't really categorize it in one particular genre. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing uh, a little bit of, I, I, you could almost go contemporary Christian to to pop to a little bit of country to you know everything from Tom Petty to, to Wallflowers I mean there's a lot of different wow. influences in there thank you <laughs> you just made me so happy with those references I I, um, I appreciate it I I, uh, I am a Christian um, I um, so I've always kind of wanted to to make music that didn't you know steer too far away from my faith but I also have always wanted to kind of grab other markets, you know, so so I um, I've never had a specific like target as far as like what am I trying to write, you know. That so is, and I kind of just contradicted myself. But what I mean is, um, genres to me have always been very effective in, like, you know, tr like conveying the message. In other words, if you're listening to a blues song, you know, that's that's a really sad slow blues, you can feel the sadness in the slow blues. It's right. not just the lyrical content always that makes you feel a song so it's style yeah so yeah. I, I really thought how you know how can i how can i draw from all these different influences and take something that i like from them and and then use like just a an acoustic guitar you know to 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 turn that song into into something that feels appropriate for for what the song's talking about sure 
Um, and so that's kind of been a battle a little bit because I've kind of, sometimes I find myself getting lost in like, you know, going too far into, like when I was in Nashville, I dove into country. Like I wanted to learn what like country music is about, mm -hmm. you know, and that's so I set out kind of, and I started playing literally like just random open mic nights um, at Douglas Corner and the Bluebird and uh, God, with the Commodore. And, and I just met all these amazing, um, you know, Nashville songwriters that were just literally, they play every night at a, at a, at a, yeah. at a writer's night. And so that's kind of where I started getting my education, you know, in Nashville. Cause I wanted to, I wanted to experience the like show up, nobody knows your name and, 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 and dive into the crowd and, and, and learn what it's about. And so that's why I think, I think that's why I moved to Nashville in the first place, honestly. Right. Um, and so we, we dug it a lot and, uh, Hell, LA was great. I mean, there was some really great uh, venues, the Viper Room, the Whiskey, the Roxy. Um, we played that circuit and uh, made a ton of great friends, had a good, good you know, support group that was, that was kind of backing us up there, House of Blues and Hotel Cafe and places like that. And um, so now we're down here and I built a little studio at my house and I go to work from eight to five and then I go home and try to write good songs. Right. You know? So that's, that's kind of um, where it's at right now. And, uh, also really been digging like being down here and diving back into just like just just diving into life uh, outside of music and um, just got married this year and it's really been kind of cool to take to take those new inspirations and, and like kind of draw from them you mm -hmm. know outside of being just a guitar slinger running around right. the country you well know? I mean you, you've got the influence of, of Nashville I mean I think that's as a, as a songwriter and a performer you really need to to have that under your belt not only that Texas music with Austin you were you were running the LA scene so you've had a lot of great experience with a lot of these different areas uh, and then I was going to ask you you know you how does that play in this new this new marriage that you've got uh, traveling around, how do you incorporate that into your music? You know, uh, what's cool, um, there are many cool things about my wife, but one thing that's really cool about her, you know, is we met when I was just completely immersed in music. I mean, 100% nothing but music. And uh, she was working on TV shows, and, and we were both kind of in the middle of this this nebulous Hollywood environment. And um, And so when we met, we just kind of like, we just fell in love immediately because we both came from, you know, solid homes and, and, you know, we were fortunate to have really great families that supported what we were doing and, mm -hmm. and, uh, wanted the best for us. And so we, um, she's just always just music. She knows music is my, my heart. I mean, she knows that's where, where my, uh, my heart lies. So, so you know, she's, when we got here, she's like, well, we got to get you a music room set up. So, you know, she, you know, let's get that bedroom cleared out. That's your studio. I love that. There. A woman that goes, here's your home office. Literally. That's great. No, and she's made it amazing. I mean, she, she has made that, that room incredible. So, I mean, she's so encouraging about songs always, you know, so, um, it's, you know, she's, she's a dream come true for a guy like me. So oh, that's it's been, great. It's been pretty cool. Um, and plus, you know, we've even like started writing songs together. Sometimes oh. we sit down and, and, you know, I'll, we'll bounce ideas back and forth. And, you know, so yeah, music is a big part of our life, you know, together. So, and you've got the new album. Where is it available? You can find it on iTunes. I would probably tell you just to go to iTunes. I'm sure there's probably some other places to get it, but do people, I mean, there's, I guess CD Baby is one and mm -hmm. then Amazon and, um, or just come to a show and come, come get one from me. Um, but I would, I would say iTunes is probably the best way Fantastic. to get a hold of it, yeah. Any current venues you're gonna be playing around here? I am, in fact, um, I just found out Friday, um, I'm gonna be playing at the Wagner Noel. Um, with two cellos. Two cellos, That's yeah. That's right. Gonna be opening the show um, Friday the 27th, so I'm, I'm really excited. So two cellos, by the way, featured on America's Got Talent. It's gonna be a great show. He's opening for them. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Thank You're not you. playing a cello, though. I don't play the cello. I don't own a cello. I've never touched a cello, <laughs> but uh, they sound incredible. I've, now I was watching some of their videos, uh, kind of blown away with, you know, it's such a interesting spin on classical music, and, and that's, I'm, I'm digging it. It's really cool stuff. It's been a pleasure meeting with you and talking yeah, to you. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Josh Tatum, we're going to hear some of his music coming up in just a minute at the Ashley Furniture Home Store Hangout Lounge. We'll be right back. <laughs> 